Hello, this is my first video back after a long time. So, um, yeah, my mic broke recently and I had to use a headset without a mic. And I couldn't make any videos because my tutorials were pretty complicated and uh, I needed to explain it. So, um, right now I'll. Uh, show you how to make a train in Roblox. So this might be part one of a long series, but yeah, so let's get into it. So first, you want to make a basis for the rails. I'm just gonna do that. And bring this other one to over here you can make it you can make the width however much you want you raise it by it so after you have that you can just lock it and forget about it for now and make another part this will be our train so i'm not gonna go fancy with it uh we have our train right here i'll rename it to Base. Now we want to add a attachment, and this attachment will be in the center right here. And we, you see the little arrow? That's gonna be that's it pointing. So we want to turn it to right here. Now you can either use body velocity, I think, or linear velocity. But I'm gonna use linear velocity. And you have to add attachment zero as the attachment you put in. You'll rename the attachment to like a uh, velocity attachment. So we have our uh, linear velocity and we want to edit the settings. So the, we want the max force to be however much you want, doesn't really matter. We want it to be relative to attachment zero and go in a line. So if we go in and test it without any scripts and select this, go to linear velocity, and change the line velocity to 15 you can see it moves um 15 linear line velocity do that way and change it to go faster change it to go backwards and and change it to just stay in place but we have to write a script for it so right now we want to detect input from a player. So let's add a add a vehicle seat onto this. Now I just want to check uh, which way the seat is actually facing. Next label is facing that way. So we want to so what where wherever your line velocity is not facing to is facing to you want to put the seat on the opposite direction you can delete this afterwards and we have this basically set up you can drag it back into this the workspace we can group the vehicle seat and the base together so the vehicle seat is one thing and the base is another thing so now we want to add a script to it. And right now, we want to define uh, the vehicle seat. So we do local vehicle seat for script.parent. Next, we want to define the linear velocity. Velocity equals script.parent.parent.base.parent.base. Dot 
linear velocity and we have that but if we try to change linear velocity to a number it won't work so we need to get the line velocity so we can just call it velocity for now and we can do linear velocity dot line velocity so this will be the main thing this will be the value we change depending on the speed so now we want to get the vehicle seat so vehicle seat dot change connect function so now we have the the function right we can now vehicle seat has a cool thing that's different from regular seats it has a steer steer uh float and a throttle float so you can just detect if it's uh throttle one then obviously goes forward if it's zero then uh it's obviously not going anywhere and if it's going backwards then that means if it's negative one it's going backwards so if you type in w it will go forwards if you type in s it'll go backwards and if you don't click anything it'll go to zero so we can detect that using if seat vehicle seat dot throttle is bigger than zero we then we can write the functions we can write the functions to increase velocity now this is just to make it go forward we need to make it go backwards and we can do that by doing else if vehicle dot throttle is smaller than zero now we also obviously want the detect if the throttle is zero so we do else if equals seat dot throttle equals to zero so right now we have our basic if statements so this will obviously equal to w this will obviously equal to s and this will obviously equal to nothing now right now i'll teach i'll just show you how to set up a basic train not nothing too fancy until we get more into the series so right now we want to add a repeat or a while loop or whatever you want but i find repeat to be uh so it can you can understand it more so we want to repeat it until the seat vehicle seat dot throttle is bigger than zero so if it's the opposite of w then if the if the vehicle seat is the opposite from w then it won't continue to repeat what's inside of here i also want to do that to zero right so we have zero so you add a or vehicle seat dot throttle equals zero now what this will do it'll just keep on repeating no matter if you if you keep on pressing w we want to add a max speed and we can do that by doing local max speed equals to let's say uh, 85 add this to the list of conditions or max speed equals or uh, line velocity equals to max speed so if the velocity equals to max speed then it won't do continue what's inside this repeat function next we want to add a check we, so uh, yeah we want to add a check smaller or equal to uh, max speed just in case uh, because uh, it might glitch it might bug and it'll still it'll keep on continuing uh, a bit after after uh, it hits the max speed 
So we want to add another if statement inside. And you also got to add if linear velocity is bigger or equal to max speed. And if velocity is smaller than max speed, then we'll increase the velocity. We can do linear velocity. We can, we can do velocity is equal to velocity plus. So we don't have a parameter for how much we want to increase the speed by. So we can do speed increase equals, uh, let's say, 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is probably the best, plus speed increase. So if we just run this and we say in the vehicle seat, it'll crash the game, right? Because we don't have a task.wait. So we can do task.wait and we can input a parameter into this to how fast you want the speed to increase, like the interval for the speed increase. So we can do local interval speed increase equals to 0 0.1. So we can do, we can make it wait interval speed increase just to add a bit more customization. So we can do the same, we can just copy and paste this. But obviously trains can't go back the same way, same, can't go fast, can't go faster than the uh, original direction. So we need to add a backward speed. So local max speed reverse equals to negative 15. So we have, so we have um, max speed reverse. Let's just keep it as 15. Um, we have to do the opposite parameters. So we can do this, max speed reverse. And you have the max speed reverse. So you also have to make it minus because it's obviously going backwards. We can also add a local interval speed decrease equals to 0 0.2. We can do decrease. We also have the max speed. Uh, we want to change the opposite value of that, like that, and this is perfectly good for um, the vehicle seat going backwards. So if it's, if you want to add a extra repeat statement, if the throttle is nothing and it slows down over time, you can do that right here by just um, repeating this uh, Paste, copy and pasting this repeating function, but I don't want to do that right now. I might show you how to do it in a later video, but that's good for now. So this seems good. And let's go back into the actual game itself. Let me move the seat up here. And well, yeah, let's test it. And I'll show you how to make good bogeys so the vehicle can actually turn. Hold on, we might have an error. Okay, so apparently I made a mistake somehow. So you can't reference velocity, line velocity. So we'll just get rid of that and reference line velocity using linear velocity. So we can do linear velocity dot velocity to dot line velocity to all of them. We have that linear velocity dot line velocity. You just change it to all of them. So 
after we change it to all of them, it should work. And there you have it. So we made a basic moving vehicle and somehow can't slow down. So let me check what's up with that. Uh, was negative max speed. So now we should be able to go reverse. Oh, yep, forgot to say line velocity. And I don't think you need the max first. So now it should work. Nope, you probably need the... That. And you can slow down. So, yeah, that's about it. You can uh, make a basic train. And I'll show you how to make bogeys in a, another video. Mostly because it's pretty hard to make bogeys. But other than that, if you like this video, just... I don't know, subscribe, I guess. Uh, yeah. Also, make sure to change that operator. Good. E. Yeah. I'll leave the script in the description. So, if you want to check this out, you can copy the script in the description. So, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll use the rails in a later video after we make the bogeys.